use the rest to uh, choose so the end of QRS for the <coughs> Uh, here, the, um, let's check the uh, L3 routine. Uh, if we check the uh, pure connect space, uh, we can see two interfaces for uh, two subnet. Uh, every interface is for uh, default get ID for every subnet. Uh, here you can see uh, these two ports are attached to open research grid. Uh, actually, uh, L3 routine also is uh, implemented by the uh, code of IPOT, very fancy routine uh, For SNAP, um, it's done by uh, SNAP gateway. It's a neutral, uh, neutral network. Here we can see uh, three ports. Um, QG port is for uh, floating IP for external router. Uh, XG port is for uh, different stuff. Uh, actually, SNAP also uh, uses the uh, Q router. Here you can see <coughs> uh, same uh, Q router gateway for different subnets. Because uh, we enable DVR. DVR is an uh, open, open site neutral to create uh, uh, routers in computer and uh, network. Uh, here you can see uh, the uh, 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 if we check all these ports in OS grid, you can see every port is attached to open message as grid. <coughs> Here, uh, every port is an uh, internal type. That means uh, it's a type device. Um, if we check uh, SNET namespace, we can see uh, SNET entry uh, and the DNET entry. Here, DNET just use a connection track. <coughs> uh, SNET also uh, uses the uh, internal IP routing. Here, you can see uh, routing table for floating IP and uh, uh, different subnets. Uh, actually, SNET Gateway um, can support uh, uh, DHCP, uh, SNET, floating IP. Uh, so here you can see many networking namespaces. <coughs> In uh, SNET node, uh, we can see many uh, ports in OS bridge because uh, uh, this bridge will handle uh, VXLAN and tunneling for every computer node, handling uh, SNET, handling uh, floating IP, handling uh, L3 routing. So we can see many, many ports. So uh, let's uh, summarize uh, uh, these features in OpenStack Neutron. Uh, uh, actually, OpenStack Neutron um, uh, highly depend on IP tables, especially connection track. Um, these features uh, uh, use TAMP interface and uh, WEST interface. Uh, they also use uh, in kernel IP routing. They also use uh, uh, OS data pass. So actually, OpenStack Neutron uh, are using uh, mixed data play passes, uh, IP tables in kernel routing and uh, uh, OS kernel data pass. <coughs> uh, for SNET Gateway, we can see many, many OS ports because uh, SNET Gateway will do uh, floating IP, SNET Q router, and uh, uh, we excellent tunneling. Uh, so if we uh, have many, many computer nodes, for example, in our uh, production environment, uh, we have uh, 500 computer nodes. Uh, in, in this uh, deployment, actually, SNET uh, bridge 
has uh, about more than um, 1,500 <laughs> ports. So uh, OS performance is, uh, is banned, especially if we and a new external router, uh, we can see uh, very, very large latency, uh, uh, about uh, one minute for, for uh, one router end. Uh, in our de deployment, we also use uh, Kubernetes um, because we, uh, we uh, want to unify networking solution um, for VMs, bare metals, and containers. So we still use uh, OpenStack Neutron for uh, Kubernetes networking solution. <coughs> um, actually, we uh, integrate Kubernetes Kubernetes uh, for this. Um, by, by this, we can uh, uh, do communication between VMs, bare metals, and containers. Uh, that means uh, they can be uh, the same L2 network and uh, uh, same L3 uh, network. Uh, in uh, this deployment, uh, actually, we, we can run a normal container and a kata container uh, of the same bare metal at the same time. <clears throat> uh, we want to accelerate uh, uh, data plan, so uh, we want to use the OS DBDK. Uh, but uh, for Kubernetes, the uh, West interest is the only one choice. <clears throat> uh, here you can see. Um, we run uh, two pods uh, in uh, one computer node. Here, uh, courier one pod is a normal container. Uh, courier three pod is a kata container. If we check uh, CI and namespace, we can see um, courier one interface is ETH zero. Uh, actually, this interface is a West interface. Here, uh, we can see pod IP. Address. Um, it's a uh, West peer, uh, looks like a type device, but uh, actually it's a West interface. <coughs> Here we can uh, use the ETH tool to check uh, uh, interface type. Here you can see um, ETH0 is a West type. Uh, this, uh, this type of port also is a West type. In OS bridge, you also can check uh, this uh, port type. Here, it's not an internal type, so it's a REST interface. <coughs> uh, here, if we uh, attach uh, courier one port, uh, we, 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 we can see, uh, we can pin uh, courier three port here. Uh, Pin is okay uh, because we, we use uh, OpenStack and Neutron for networking. Uh, if we check uh, Kata container namespace here, uh, uh, we can see two uh, interfaces. One is uh, uh, ETH0, it's a uh, West interface, you can see uh, port IP address. But uh, Kata container also uh, use uh, a temp interface. Here you can see uh, temp zero uh, other like uh, kata. Actually, it's a, it's a temp interface. Uh, ETH zeros uh, uh, with peer uh, is uh, this temp temp port. Actually, this is a uh, West interface. You can see, uh, <coughs> but for for temp zero kata. It's a tap. Uh, this is the uh, uh, this interface uh, is attached to OS bridge. <coughs> Here uh, we attach uh, to Cooler three container. Uh, if we check uh, ETH zero. It's a uh, uh, VTL net driver. 
So actually, it's, a, it's VM, right? Container is running in this VM. It uses uh, this uh, interface. Uh, so um, if we uh, want to use the OS DBDK to replace the OS uh, in this deployment, uh, what, what will happen? Actually, uh, we have a performance issue. <coughs> Uh, although OS uh, DBDK implemented a uh, connection track in user space, but uh, OpenStack Neutron doesn't use it. Uh, actually, OpenStack Neutron uh, highly depend on um, kernel stuff, uh, such as floating IP, uh, LC routing, SNET. <coughs> uh, so uh, we, 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 we uh, encounter a uh, big performance issue. Here, let's check, uh, uh, let's check uh, performance. Uh, here, we um, use the TAP interface in uh, OS uh, kernel data bus. Here, we add two uh, TAP interfaces and uh, use uh, iPerf to check performance. You can see, if we use uh, OS uh, kernel data bus, uh, the performance is very good, right? Total bandwidth is about uh, uh, 37 per, uh, per two gigabits per second. But if we use uh, OS DBDK, here you can see it's a DBDK, OS DBDK. Uh, we use the uh, same way to add uh, TAP uh, interfaces to OS DBDK bridge. Here, if we run iPerf to check performance, you can see uh, it's a maximum uh, bandwidth, just uh, uh, 295 uh, megabytes, megabits per second. You know, uh, it's uh, 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 less than 1% uh, of uh, OS. <coughs> Uh, actually, uh, for West interface, uh, the performance result is similar. Uh, here, if we check uh, uh, West interface performance in OS kernel data path, you can see uh, the maximum number is similar. But if we use the OS DBDK, what happened here? Uh, you can see, uh, uh, PN is okay, but if we run iPerf, it cannot uh, work. Why? Because uh, uh, for uh, with the interface implementation, uh, it has some problem. So I just uh, disable uh, TX offload feature here. Then uh, run iPerf again here, it's okay. But you can see uh, the performance number is very, very poor. It's uh, uh, worse than TAP case. <clears throat> so um, the performance issue is the uh, um, biggest issue for, for OS DBTK in OpenStack and uh, Kubernetes. Uh, so we think uh, we, uh, we, we cannot uh, use uh, OS DBDK in production environment. Um, uh, actually, uh, for Kubernetes, uh, the, the uh, issue is similar because in Kubernetes, the container uh, only use, uses the uh, West interface. <coughs> Uh, but uh, if we run uh, container or bare metal, we cannot uh, uh, fix it because uh, it only can use uh, West interface. We cannot uh, uh, replace it to uh, we host user. But uh, for Kata container, because uh, it uses uh, lightweight VM, so we can uh, hack Kata container and uh, Kubernetes uh, to use uh, a DBTK host user. <coughs> so uh, actually, um, 
open stack of, of official document uh, also um, pointed out this uh, issue. Here you can see uh, if uh, you use uh, OS DBDK, especially if you enable DVR and the firewall and the service, you can see performance uh, will degrade. <clears throat> Uh, for West interface, uh, it has a TCP checksum issue. You can see if uh, you use West interface, DHCP cannot work. So, <clears throat> so for, for, for this case, uh, we cannot use uh, West interface. But for uh, QoS, if we enable QoS, we have to uh, use West. So, Actually, it, it, it's it's an issue. <clears throat> uh, Red Hat uh, OpenStack platform document also uh, pointed out this issue here. You can see uh, if we uh, if you use uh, OS DBDK, the performance uh, is poor, right? Uh, because uh, for this case, we have to uh, use uh, tab. Uh, that's a in kernel um, driver. <clears throat> so uh, if we use a controller such as Open Daylight and uh, OVN, we, we can fix this uh, issue because uh, uh, for SDN controller, they implemented uh, routine floating IP SNAT by open flow rules. So they, doesn't use, uh, they uh, don't use uh, uh, Type device and the rest interface. <coughs> uh, so uh, the conclusion is uh, um, type device and uh, uh, rest interface performance is uh, extremely uh, poor in OS DBDK. Um, we cannot uh, use OpenStack Neutron and uh, OS DBDK and uh, uh, possible solution for uh, production environment. We also cannot use Kubernetes and uh, OpenStack Neutron and uh, OS DBTK uh, for uh, container networking solution. <coughs> so uh, in uh, OS community, uh, some guys uh, propose we can use uh, OVN and uh, Open Daylight. But uh, the reality is uh, Open daylight is uh, not stable and not scalable for a super scale data center. OVN uh, only can support Geneva for uh, tunnel handling. It cannot handle VXLAN. So actually, uh, we do, don't have other choice. <clears throat> so uh, I'm done. Thank you. So, Hi, thank you for the presentation. It's excellent. Um, could you elaborate if you did any sort of deep dive on evaluating why the performance was so bad? Um, for example, using a tool like Vtune and so forth, um, and our own personal uh, benchmarking activities. You know, for example, we saw uh, bad performance with uh, mirroring with with OBS and DBDK, um, and it turned out to be. Uh, to some extent related to mem copy operations and so forth. So I was, I was curious if you guys had done any sort of that research as well for uh, VETH and, and TAP interfaces. Uh, sorry. Do, do, you, uh, do you mean your, your case uh, performance is OK to you? We, we saw a similar performance degradation, but in the case of mirroring in our case. But um, uh, I was curious if you had done any sort of deep dive in researching why, why you such such uh, bad performance. Okay, maybe uh, it's a different user scenario because here we we use OpenStack Neutron. Uh, that implementation uh, highly uh, depend on kernel stuff. You know, OpenStack Neutron can use Linux bridge to implement everything, right? It cannot use OS bridge, so it uh, uses many many uh, kernel stuff. If we use, uh, if you use kernel stuff for OS DBTK, you will encounter these issues. Okay. Thank you.
uh, just to comment on the previous question. So uh, the reason that the performance is so bad in, in the case of OBS DPDK is that when you are using OBS DPDK, actually all the packet uh, will appear in user space because DPDK bypass the kernel. And once we are using tap device or V's device, basically you are sending the packet into the kernel and go to the user space again because you are running iperf on the container or on the VM side, right? So there are multiple uh, kernel to user space copying between uh, obvious DPDK and uh, your iperf application. And so far the obvious implementation of uh, tab interface isn't optimized because uh, we don't use it for performance reasons. So it's used pretty uh, slower version of the tab, I guess. So that's probably the reason we see very, you see very slow uh, performance. Um, for your proposal, I, I think uh, um, if you uh, use uh, a exceptional uh, path, uh, but uh, I think uh, all host side, Application, uh, application cannot use uh, this interface, right? Because uh, actually, uh, tab, tab interface and the web interface uh, uh, consumers are host, not, not VM, not container. Thank you. Okay, thank you.